Hello again, fellow YouTubers! Salmon Pleasant here with a another deck review, one that, and I guess my deck reviews have been held off for quite some time. I haven't done one in a while, so I figure I'm gonna be. I I have like a bunch of decks built, but I'm not gonna give reviews of them after I've used them in a tournament and they've done like at least have had two wins. Otherwise, they aren't going to get a review until they are modified to the point where they have substantial wins. So, as you can tell, we're doing a deck review of my first clan I ever used, actually. I was expecting this to use, the, expecting to do this later, but, yep, it's here. So, we're doing my Narkami deck profile, and, um, I don't really have a name for it yet, but the name will probably be in, like, the title. Um... I could call it, like, I, I don't know yet. I'll think of something. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's get right to it. We start with the starter, which is Spark Kid Dragoon, and he's the vanilla counter... He's the forerunner, which is Narcomi Rides It, called to Rear Guard, and the counter blast one put into the soul. Top five for grade three, put everything else back. So, pretty standard for a lot of clans now. They have a counter blast and put something into soul, look for a grade three. Standard Grade 3 Searcher. Does well in this deck. Next, we got four Malevolent Jin Crit Triggers, and this guy's in the deck because he does this thing where I can put him into soul and give plus three to something. Which I think does really well for the. This, it works well in this deck. I don't use it that much. I don't really use the ability that much, but he still works for what he needs to accomplish. He does well. Next, we have four yellow gem carbuncles, and not much to say here. They're vanilla crit triggers. Don't really have much to say. Just more crit power. for Eradicator Yellow Gem Carbuncles, and I can technically use these because it has Eradicator in the name, thus making it a different card. The alt art also definitely helps. So, another vanilla crit trigger, not much to really say, the, say here. Um, I know what this looks like. I think she's praying. I don't think she's doing anything else. Yeah. And finally, four heal triggers of Worm Toxin Eradicator Silibo? I'm not sure. So my trigger lineup is basically 16 crit, wait, and 12 crit and four heal. So this is basically a beatdown deck. This deck is used for beat the living crap out of anything that gets in my way. Simple as that. Great ones. We have two Dragon Dancer Riri's, and you'll understand why I only use two of her. Da, da, da. And what she does is really simple. On rear guard, so less one. When she boosts Thunder Break Dragon, the boosted unit gains plus five. So during limit break, that makes Thunder Break a 26k swinger. Pretty straightforward. Nothing really unique there. Run three Photon Bomber Wyverns, and what this guy does is he's the special 6k booster on Vanguard, do something, get plus four to make it a 10k booster. And what this does is if my opponent has three or more damage, I gain plus four and they can boost for 10. And this guy really works considering a lot of things now require some form of four or five damage. So, most decks nowadays usually focus around limit break, so this guy really can come in handy when he needs to. Problem, he only boosts the Vanguard for this effect, so that kind of sucks. But, oh well. One Wyvern Guard Gold, one Perfect Guard, because you know I have that rule about only having one Perfect Guard in almost every single one of my decks. Almost. Hint, hint. That's 
for later. So, this is the simple perfect guard. Not much else to say here. I run three Desert Gunner, and this guy actually is pretty unique. One, when I play him on the field, on Vanguard or Rearguard, I can choose one of my opponent's rear guards, and I can intercept for that turn. So this guy's actually useful for like early game or late game pushes when I want when my opponent's like at five damage and he only has a certain amount of stuff in his hands. I can just play one of these and be like, hey, see that thing over there that you were relying on to intercept to help you survive? He can't do that now. Works especially well for special intercepts, so that's a good thing. So three of them is pretty good. And finally, I run four Red River Dragoons. I run this art because I really like this flavor text. Think about Blitzkrieg. I, I like me some Blitzkrieg. Also, it just, it just looks better. So, vanilla AK beat stick. Let me just move some things around. We have that. All right. Next, four Shield Blade Dragoons. Also a Dragoon. Um, this guy has a special intercept. I use him simply for considering my deck needs defense. This deck needs some defense, and he provides most of it. So that when my enemy is attacking, it can be like, Oh, hey, Shield Blade, go in there and die for the cause. Pretty straightforward. Read that there. Pretty simple. Yeah. Four of him because I need some defense. I can't just be all offense. If I wanted that, I would have had more crits and just been a full beatdown deck. I run three Hex Cannon Wyverns, and what this guy does is he does kind of what wy Wyvern Photon Bomber Wyvern does. Uh, when I my opponent has three or more damage, I gain plus three. So this is an 11k beat stick whenever they have three or more damage. And it works pretty well, again, considering most stuff uses Limit Break, making this guy really useful. And he can even become 11k on, like, second turn when I've ridden to, like, grade 2 only. Because I could drive check at grade 3, oh, you have 3 damage now. 11. So, he works for what he needs to do. Two, I run two Dragonic Death Sights, and... I use this guy simply for sniping ability, and he's just there mainly to fill in the vanguard spot, because most of my other stuff works on rearguard better. And he's okay, and if I have like 3 damage, I can use him and then use the spark kit abilities. But I don't use his ability that much, but his ability is okay. It's just a call it, snipe something, it's a one ter term thing, and then he's good for some intercepting. And also that art looks pretty freaking cool. And finally, for the grade 2 lineup, I got four Eradicator... Ah. My hands are not working with me today. Okay. I run four Eradicator Thunderboom Dragons. Standard vanilla. Again, I like this art way better than the other vanilla. So as you can tell, I'm making my use of the Eradicator Trial deck that I got earlier. Anyway, on to grade threes. For Jin of the Lightning Flash, at one point I made it my goal not to use him, but after testing with him, he works pretty well, actually. I mean, he does well, and he's that he's a useful 14 or 12k swinger at the Vanguard, because I can't attack anything else with this guy, because he has a continuous ability that strictly says only attack Vanguard, this unit cannot attack Rearguard, but still, he's a 14 or 12k swinger, which, even if I'm being boosted by a 6, that makes me 20. So, or 18. So, he works well. Next, I got two Thunder Breaks. This is my Avatar of the deck. This guy is awesome. He does the standard Limit Break 4, get plus 5. He also has this ability, which is pretty much like Death Scythe, except it's only on Vanguard. Carablast 2, placed on Vanguard, retire grade 2 or less. Rear guard. Pretty straightforward. And that art is pretty awesome. He's more the ace of the deck than anything, but here's the thing that you could argue is the ace. 
One Eradicator Vowing Sword Dragon. This is the break ride which you get in the trial deck. He does the limp break four. When an Arakami rides this unit, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row, retire it, and this and the chosen vanguard gains ten thousand till the end of the turn. So combo that with Thunderbreak, I can snipe two rear guards instantly. Now I know there are some better ways to do this, but I really don't want to focus necessarily on Rackators just because they're going to be freaking expensive. Oh, he also has this other ability where if you have three more damage, plus two. So yeah, Limit Breakers, ha! I get to gain power from this. He's also on 11k, which is pretty good, and that art is awesome. So what I usually like to do is have this guy in Vanguard, next turn, ride, counter last two, snipe something, snipe something else. So I can pretty much snipe your whole front row or snipe whatever the heck I want. So, yeah. That went pretty quick. So there's that. Pretty straightforward. And this deck did okay. This deck only got like two wins out of four, but it put up a good fight. Like, it fought some really tough opponents when I used this, and it put up a good fight. It just would not go down easily. I, I can say that. Even when I'm grey locked at, like, one, this thing kept fighting and guarding and punching back. It just would not die that easily. So, yeah, I give this thing a lot of credit. I do. For what it accomplished, I think it accomplished what it needed to do pretty well. So... That's all I have to say. This has been Salman Pleasant, signing off.